My dad used to send me to the liquor store when I was 12. And when I went in there, just like Houston said, it's a world of... And I had my dad's credit card, and in Miami, at the, at the time, they didn't give a shit how old you were. So I got my dad's stuff, and I bought that gold slogger like you can't imagine. <laughs> There's gold floating in it. I'll show all my friends. Oh my god, the shit we bought. The shit we bought. We drank so much fucking booze. We drank so much fucking booze that at the time that it happened, I flipped out in my brain and imagined that I was here now doing this. That's how fucked up I was. And as it turns out, here we are! Get fucked! Uh, so, get fucked. Is that you So weird. Your dream has come true, Jesus Christ, you guys are fucking weird. All right, I've had enough now. People who are going to talk over the show, get the fuck out of here. People are going to stay and join our cult, I'm sorry, our religion. I got a lot more for you. You're going to be blown away. The Reverend Angel Dust hasn't even taken the stage. Do you understand what's going to happen when the Reverend Angel Dust does his sermon? Normally we put it at the front of the show. Whenever the sermon is at the back of the show, you have no idea what's coming behind you at the university club. You have no idea. You don't know how deep it's going to go. You don't know how big it's going to make your world. That's hot. You don't know how stretched out your fucking anus is going to be when you get stuck on this fucking thing. That's hot. You, know, you have no idea that you can fit a fist in two fucking feet in there. You have no idea you have like physical feet like I've seen on, you know, that, that thing that you all go on and oh, do your weird, weird fucking things that you do, your weird massaging, gross, disgusting, everything's leaking and towels and leaving, leaving them around, you gross fuckers. You know you're all gross. Every one of you. Every one of you is a gross motherfucker. Just admit it. Raise your hand. I'm a gross motherfucker. I want you to own it. I'm a gross motherfucker. Why are you the only one not raising your hand? Because you're awesome. That's why. There are there are those people who aren't gross motherfuckers. I know you're a gross. Everybody knows you. Why you always? And you're terrific, by the way. I just want you to admit it. We're leaking weird, squeaking, fucking chemical, self-aware interactions. Oh, say, yeah. say no to drugs, say no to life. No. Right. That's right. right. We're self-aware chemical interactions. We are made of drugs, ladies and gentlemen. Yeah. All the drugs that you take do is activate the drugs that you already do. Hallelujah. Yes, clearly. Look it up. No. <laughs> ladies and gentlemen, continuing... Hey, I'm giving you good information here, okay? We're also a church. we got to help you people. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, let me give you the, the greatest word of all. When I introduce Auntie Bobo, and I will, you're going to hear some of the insider information about Occupy Pancakes that you can't even believe. You think world wars... In the, in the world, all the shit that's going on around here with Russia and everything else, you think that's a big deal? Wait till you hear the shit going on at Occupy Pancakes. <laughs> Ladies and gentlemen, Auntie Bobo! <laughs> Alright, y'all. I wasn't going to perform tonight. I'm very tired after Occupy Pancakes. I got my Pac-Man pajamas on. Yes. I'm ready to go to bed, but Tom asked about a little what's going on in the what's uh, the tea? DMs. So I woke up this morning to this text to the group from Fuckboy John. Now this is an Occupy Pancakes tale. It, it has lust. It has racism. It has sexism. It has Floridaism. It has Gaslighting. Yeah, so this was the text 
To anyone I may have offended, please forgive me. And to anyone who offended me, I forgive you too. For fuckboy, that's pretty good, right? All right, we can leave it there. That, that's all right. Okay, and this happened in an intimate gathering. This was not like during Occupy Pancakes. So someone who was there pipes up, anyone you offended needs to grow the fuck up. Bunch of mark-ass busters. Now, I don't know what that means. They spelled it M-A-R-K-A-S-S. Is that Marxist? What does busters mean? Not allowed in here. Does anyone? No, no, they're allowed in here, but they Mark, just. Marxist busters. I think that's what he said. So anyway, so uh, and then John said, you know, I can't change others. Not that they're wrong. I know I can be overwhelming at times. Who? Who would have thought that fuckboy would be the nice one and the sensitive one in the conversation? Well, this other person completely lost his shit, said we were being mean a fuckboy, left the group, at which point Judy Castle suggested that if they had a problem, they should probably wrestle and pancake surf in the pool. Yeah! And then, yeah, and then she sent a big picture of herself, mostly naked, covered with waffles. Yeah! Fuck yeah! Use the situation. So, do y'all want to know what fuckboy did? Uh, yeah! What the fuck boy? Alright, this is what he did. First he started telling Raindrop a million fucking times how gorgeous she is. Which is fun. But she's sitting there with her boyfriend and he wouldn't stop. Fuck boy, I'm telling the story. So, this went on for a while. That wasn't so bad. Hold on. And then, he proceeded to tell us that women are not funny. Oh, Let me just sit there for a minute. Sort of, sort of, Hold on, it gets worse. He says black people are not funny. Okay, no, listen, listen, listen. He said, shh, not your stage, not your stage right now. He said Floridians are not funny. What the fuck? Motherfucker. But he didn't apologize, so that part was really sweet. Yeah, he apologized. So that part was really sweet. So so that's that's what happened. And I said, dude, who is my best friend? Jenny fucking castle? She's not funny? Yeah. So he's on restriction right now. And he knows that. He's on restriction, which means I won't give him any rides. Because he's in trouble. But uh anyway. That, that's what happened. So I feel like there was some gaslighting going on in the conversation. Because, uh, listen to this shit. He sent out... Thanks, but it's a left city. That's what he said he did wrong. That we were leftists, that the whole problem was not that women are funny and black people are funny and Koreans are funny and then you need to lay off raindrop. So, in the middle of all this, Marvo says, John, you have to stop. You have to fucking stop. And I turned to raindrop, and I asked her boyfriend, I said, what does your boyfriend think about this? And her boyfriend turned to fuckboy and said, I think you're being a cunt. He has room for improvement, apparently. Who knew? Hold on, hold on. Hold on. You're going on. Don't get upset. Okay. Okay. Thank you, Reverend. At least the girl left. Is that the end? Yeah. Thank you.
I can tell by the fact that people are leaving that we're finally doing the show. I said people. I said Jeff. I said, you're, you're a good guy. I like you. You're a bass player like me, so I, I, I can kind of understand you 100%. And now, anyway, the point is, ladies and gentlemen, it's okay. We don't, the most fun we've ever had was with one other person. So we don't need any, right? We're just happy you're here. But we are going to figure this fuckboy shit out. Because here with a rebuttal happen, happens to be fuckboy John.
like Koreans or, or like Chinese people or West Side Koreans? Because if so, I love West Side Korean food. For real. Um, the worst thing about having COVID is you can only have sex with people who also have COVID. I bought my COVID vaccine one time from the gas station from some man outside. I just didn't know you had to smoke it. It's okay. I'm kind of poor. I'm so poor I watched the Food Network last night for dinner. I went to church last Sunday. They got free toilet paper. That's how poor I am. Hey, yo. I'm so poor, when I go outside, I say, it's 11 o'clock at night, or, oh my god, it's hot as fuck. Where's the air conditioner? That guy knows, yeah. yeah. No AC, no AC. Yeah, he's laughing, let's, let's fucking go, let's fucking, fucking go. What do you call a redhead having sex with a Mexican? Chips and salsa. I, I don't trust girls with red hair that have no souls. You are what you eat, but don't call me Penis Semi John. Call me Fuckboy John. But my pronouns are they them. So I'm not a fuckboy. I'm a fuck them. Run it, run it, nigga poet. Run it. Don't let me swing a thing later on this motherfucking stage, Tom Miller. That was a picture of your dick. Tom Miller just sexually assaulted me and I like it. I don't care. I go to church. The priest said I'm a good Catholic. We had sex. No tattoos. If God says no, so do I. What I pay for. Whatever. I throw jizz on people at strip clubs. I don't care. That's the best I don't care I've ever heard. I dye my hair. I dye my hair red. I don't care. I would sell my body on the internet. I don't care. Whatever. Okay. Great. What do you mean? Is it okay to cheat on your girlfriend if she let her speak back to a lunch? Yeah. Alright, give me a round of applause, fuck boy John! That's the comedy we like. I threw jizz on dot 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 good. Yeah, I would like that. My favorite comedy is who I threw jizz on. Uh, love, very funny, very humorous. Thank you. Thank you. I want to uh, apologize to nobody because this is what we do. I'm sorry. This is actually the show. So, you know, you don't like it, you go, you know, you go throw jizz on somebody. All right. Anyway, holy ham. Okay, that's all right, and now, ladies and gentlemen, we're going to get to the point of the show. Yes, I know you thought you were in an open mic night, but in fact, as it turns out, you were in a cult. And we like to call it a church. 